All right, what is happening, everybody? Listen, I hope everybody out there is doing absolutely amazing. Um, Want to come at you for today's training real quick. Going to make it nice, short, simple, and sweet as always. Um, we're going to touch base a little bit on MLS. Okay, um, we haven't done too many videos on the MLS. This is going to be geared more for our newer agents still. So uh, I'm just going to do a quick little tidbit on how to do an MLS search, how to keep it a little bit less uh, defined, if you will, kind of with flex, and, and we're going through flex um, obviously with our APV. So when you, when you start drumming in too many um, values, sometimes you start to actually lose listings. So we're gonna go through it. I'll show you real quick uh, how to do a search. So if I have a buyer looking for a three bedroom, two bath in Jupiter, um, you know, in a non HOA, HOA, all that good stuff, I'll uh, show you how to do a quick little search. So let me do a screen share here for you guys. Cool. All right, cool. So now I have my MLS up here. For you agents that are on um, Flex, I'm gonna get here using the site, and I haven't bookmarked it yet because it just changed the domain, but it's myrealtor-clarity.net, okay? So nice and easy, you can see when, I, when I'm actually on the site itself, all I really have to do is click the MLS button, okay? MLS button's gonna bring me up. And what I'm going to do from here is I can actually go on to my quick search section. Okay. So I'm going to go to quick search and here's going to be all my values right here. So I can start typing in where I'm looking at. So if I'm going to look in Jupiter, I'm just going to double click Jupiter here. Right. I could be doing to Cuesta and Palm Beach Gardens. So if I have a buyer that's interested in that, general area i'm going to try to send them as many properties as i can right so if they're interested in jupiter unless they say hey greg don't send me anything besides jupiter um but normally you'll get a hey i'm interested in that jupiter area right so from there i'm going to do the surrounding areas as well because it'll give us more more properties to be able to send them which we know in today's low inventory market is is number one um and who knows maybe they haven't researched to quest before maybe they haven't researched palm beach gardens maybe they haven't researched those areas around jupiter that they thought they were interested in right so we don't know until we try. So I'm going to usually go in with two or, or three other cities. Um, so from here, I'm going to type in the list price because that's one of the major values that we need to be concerned about. So say my buyer is up to 1 million. Now I can see it drops me down to 289 results, right? Okay. I can go in if I know they're in a, a strict criteria. I could go and put in 500. You'll see the properties drop down to, to more than half. That's good. Um, if they have a certain subdivision, you can always type that in, no problem at all. Um, county, but we're already put the values of Jupiter, Palm Beach Gardens, to Quest in here, so no big deal. Um, total bedrooms, if they are looking for a certain amount of bedrooms, you're definitely gonna wanna put that value in. If somebody's looking for a three bedroom, you don't wanna start sending them two or even one bedrooms that'll populate if I don't check this out. I'm not gonna mess with that. Just because when I'm looking at 500 to a million, I'm generally gonna be in probably a four bedroom price point at least, right? Um, so I'm gonna leave that. You can see all your values here. If I click them, it'll drop down. I can put in my minimums, maximums. Um, you got full bath, half bath, total baths, garage spaces, living square footage. So if somebody says, don't send me anything under 2000 living square feet, it gives you the ability to kind of put those values in there and change it out. So for you newer agents, it's gonna be pivotal when you're when you have a buyer or a tenant that's looking for something specific, um, you're going to be able to come in and, and just set this up right from here. Another thing I can do is that you don't see in these fields, there's a bunch of other fields. So if I click that, so add a field to the search, I can click it, see all these other options that come up. So for you guys, you can actually scroll through this, check it out, take a look at it. Um, super easy. You can actually type. So if I start to type and say I, they don't want an HOA over a certain amount, I can type that in, click on it, excuse me, and then do a max amount. So say I want a max HOA of 550. I can click that in there. Now I'm down to 74 results. So a little more narrowed down, right? So it's gonna be easier for my client to get properties uh, directly from here. Now remember, we can do all this on Chime. This is great to know on the MLS. Uh, you guys are definitely gonna you know, wanna use the MLS, obviously. You don't have to go just through Chime directly, but it is a great tool. So from here, I have 
kind of all my values and input that I personally want to input for the client so I can click on list. And it's going to give me a population, a pretty squared away population of the properties available for them. You can see your numbers here. I can select them one, two, three. And from there, if I hit email, I can email those properties. I can print those properties or save those properties. Um, another cool thing that you can do that you're definitely gonna wanna do is once you have this, these properties available, you're gonna wanna do a scroll through them and, and kind of make sure that they fit the bill. Make sure there's no uh, hoppas, which is um, 55 and overs if, if they're not 55 and over, or make sure there's no membership fees, anything of that nature. So I'm gonna go over here to detail. Click detail. And now a detailed uh, version of this property is available. So I can see all my, my values here, my bedrooms, my baths, my living square feet, um, no HOA. I can see all the subdivisions, um, all that good stuff, all your commissions, your broker only remarks, which is generally gonna have your showing instructions. And then down here, I'll have my public remarks. So I can see generally what's done in the house. These values are what the agents, the listing agents have put in. So you're at their discretion, but I can see that this home does have a brand new AC, does have a brand new roof, brand new impact windows, brand new appliances, brand new electrical panels, brand new bar, brand new paint. So it's got a lot of stuff. So from here, I wanna check out the photos. I'm just gonna click photos. So I can start scrolling through, see what, this home looks like. And I'm good to go. Now the, the last thing that I would do is I'm gonna click it if I don't know where this is exactly. I'm gonna click map. And because I'm already on this property, it's gonna star as you can see right here where this property is. So I can come here. I can see exactly where this property is. Sorry. I can check it out. I can know, okay, this is exactly where this property is. If I wanted to do a satellite, I can click satellite. And here we go. I can zoom in. So for you guys as the agents, you can see everything about this property that you need to. Right there in front of you. I wanna go back to detail. And up here I can see different things. So if I wanna see IMAP, tax info, it's gonna bring me to the tax information center. I can see all my parcel ID numbers, the current, who the current owner of the property is. Um, I can see when the property was last sold, all that good stuff, taxes. So that's definitely gonna help you out. You can see, you know, recently sold or what's active in the area as well. So pretty simple setup. I can just click other properties when I'm on here from, from here, no problem at all. Um, but yeah, good to, good to go, pretty, pretty simple process. Um, what I'm gonna do is, excuse me, once I find a couple of these properties, I view through all 74 of these properties. Um, I'm gonna just click the ones I want and then I'm gonna email it. I'm gonna do the interactive version. And then if they're not already in your MLS, you're gonna add a new contact. So you're gonna put their first name, last name, and email. You would then save it. I'm gonna go over here and send it to Greg. I'm gonna put in some values, um, whatever you wanna put in here, you're good to go. You can see the subjects already here. Um, very cool process. So then I'm gonna hit email and there. You can see the email went out. I can hit return search results and I'm good to go. Now if I go to my email, cool thing is you'll see this two ways. So this is me as Greg, the buyer. Okay, so this is what your buyer is gonna see. Here are your current properties. Follow the link to click this page, boom. You're gonna have your email signature here, nice and easy so they know how to get in touch with you. And I'm gonna to click to view listings. So this is me as the buyer, not you as the agent. I can see my listings here. I can see them on the map. I'm gonna be able to click them and see all their values from here. Other cool thing, as Greg the agent, once the email goes out, I'm gonna get this, so I can see what, what emails they get, um, which is really neat. And then the next coolest thing is when your client opens up that email, I'm gonna just click this, 
and I can see that Greg Amaral has viewed my email. So I know when they call and say, hey, I didn't get your properties or anything like that, we can come back here and say, hey, this, this lead did actually view the property. So pretty easy, easy way to do some property viewing for your clients, make sure that they're getting what they really want as, as opposed to bombarding them with 74 different properties. Um, so that, that's really gonna be your best bet. Um, like I said, we can use Chime for this. A lot of people still like to use the MLS, which is no problem at all. Um, obviously our site just pulls from the MLS. So um, pretty accurate, easy to see. You get notifications when people do look at that, look at your emails, so it's good to know. Um, any questions at all? please don't hesitate to give us a call. I hope you guys have an amazing weekend and go out and crush it. Um, and if you guys need anything at all, just give us a shout.